This is an LIFE PO4 rechargeable battery with a nominal voltage of 12.8 volts and a capacity of 7.5 amp hours it's suitable to run a wide range of QRP rigs. It should keep a Yaesu FT817 going for around 7 hours of transmitting and receiving. Such batteries require a suitable charger. This one is described as a switching power supply with an output voltage of 15 volts and 3 amps. The model number is 150-3000. The experiment I want to do today is to check whether the power supply can directly power an FT817. The output voltage is about right. The FT817 can take up to 16 volts. And when I measured the output voltage from this, it came up as 14.5 volts which actually matches what the battery needs. Another consideration is current. The FT817 on transmit draws about 2 amps. The 3 amps specified here is more than adequate. The only question mark then is the amount of noise the power supply may put out. For it's a switching power supply and cheaply made switching power supplies can put out a lot of RF noise and also have a dirty output. That causes them to be unsuitable for sensitive HF radio equipment. In this video, I'll disconnect the battery from the FT817 and try and use it from the power supply instead. If it works, then I'll have a nice little power unit useful for running the FT817 at home. As you heard from the demonstration, the power supply contributes no extra noise to receive signals. And on transmit, there is no sign of noise being impressed on the transmit signal either, even with a local station very close by. As a result, I can recommend this type of power supply, not only to charge your LIFE PO4 batteries, but also to directly run your FT817 or similar transceiver.